Michelle Soroka and I have just finished four weeks here in La Serena, Chile. I did the elderly care project while I was here and I would like to tell you a little bit about my experience. Overall, my experience here in Chile has been extremely positive. Right from the moment that I got off the plane, I felt right at home and I was well looked after. The coordinator Vilma is fantastic. She can help you with anything you need. If you have a problem with your placement, or if you need something or if you need help booking a tour, she's always there and she can help you. I was also lucky enough to have Vilma as my host mom. And if you have Vilma as your host mom, you are going to be in for a treat. She is a fantastic cook. The food here is like nothing you've ever had before. I'm in denial that I'm leaving. Um, I would kind of like to take Vilma home with me to Canada, but I don't think that's going to happen. So. Some of the things in La Serena that I really liked were that it's a small town, but there's everything you could want, you can find here. So people are really friendly, there's kind of like a small town vibe, but you don't have to worry about, you know, if you forgot something at home, because you can always find it here. There are also lots of things to do in the city. I went to the beach every weekend, and it was fantastic, and you can also do lots of tours. Vilma can help you with that, um, but some of the tours I went on were... I did a trip to Elki Valley. I went on a tour of um, Isla Damas, which was an island, and we got to see penguins and dolphins and sea lions. It was really beautiful. The volunteer project that I did was the elderly care project, and I liked it a lot. And some of the things that I had to do day to day were things like uh, helping the residents at mealtimes. So that could have been, you know, as simple as, you know, helping somebody who had trouble seeing by giving them the food, putting it in their hand, and guiding it to their mouth, or it could have been um, helping somebody to actually eat. We had to transport them to and from places, for example, from the dining room to their room, or to the washroom, or maybe to the church. Um, I also helped with hairstyling, so after they had their showers, I would sometimes style their hair, sometimes give them hand massages, I got to go to the market a couple of times with some of the nuns there and buy food and bring it back. And I think the best thing, that the thing that I liked the most about being there was just spending time with the residents, sitting with them, talking with them and getting to know them. And I found that it really helped my Spanish. One thing that I would recommend if you do the elderly care project here, and I think you should, is to have at least some background in Spanish. So when I came, I had kind of a, a basic understanding, or I thought I did, but the Spanish here is very different. It's, it's um, everybody speaks really quickly and there are a lot of new words. So um, having a, a background will really help. Otherwise, you might not be able to understand what's happening because nobody at the project speaks English. I would also recommend the Spanish lessons. I did the immersion program for the first two weeks here. So that I did half a day of volunteering and half a day of Spanish, and I found that it really helped me. I was able to pick up the language a lot more quickly, and I was able to interact and communicate a lot more at my program. The Spanish teacher, Tanya, is excellent. She, she speaks English, she's really funny, and she'll make the lessons fun for you. If you have any questions at all, um, you can contact a broader view, and they can put you in touch with me, and I would be happy to tell you more about my experience. Ciao!